Hi guys, you are on VRM24.com and today we are going to the assemble Honor Xeon A+. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. To do this, we use a special tool inserted into the hole and carefully push out the card tray. If the tray doesn't come out well, we can additionally use tweezers. Then we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of about 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes we can move on to removing the back cover. To remove or detach the back cover we use a thin plastic film inserted into the gap between the back cover and the middle cover and gently run it along the edge, cutting off the adhesive baking. As always, we need to be careful in the area of the side buttons, because in these places may be located cables and of course we need to be careful in the area of the cameras, not to accidentally hit or damage the lenses. And we try to carefully open the core, but it seems that in one of the places we still have some adhesive. We carefully try to open the back cover. Only the gasket is located on the back cover. After that, we move on to unscrewing the screws. For this we use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash trio. We unscrew the screws at the top and bottom. It is better to place the screws on a special surface and an easy to remember order so that nothing gets mixed up during the assembly. And we can carefully unscrew this screw and please note that we are missing one screw. In this place there should be a small, most likely black screw, which we don't have. After that we move on to detaching the middle cover. To do this, we first use a thin plastic film inserted into the gap between the middle cover and the display frame in the area of the car tray. Carefully disconnect a few clips and then we can use a thicker tool. So we pass carefully along the edge with a tool, unclipping the clips, thus detaching the middle cover. We need to be really careful around the side buttons and the fusion print sensor, because they are physically located in these places. We also need to be careful with the edge of the display. And we can carefully lift and turn over the middle cover. Now we need to disconnect the battery connector with a non-metal tool. After that, we need to detach the two rear cameras. The two rear cameras are fixed on a pad or a special bracket that hides the fusion print sensor connector. We remove the bracket, we disconnect the fusion print sensor connector and remove the middle cover with the contact pads and antenna transmission lines. After that, we move on to detaching the speaker at the bottom. Carefully hook the edge, lift and remove the loudspeaker. And we can disconnect the connector of the interboard cable, disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable, disconnect the connector of the second coaxial cable. We also need to unscrew one screw that fixes the subboard. Carefully remove the screw. If the screw doesn't come out well or gets stuck, we can use tweezers to gently remove it. And actually, after removing the screw, we can detach the subboard. We find the right place where we gently pry, lift, and remove the subboard. On the subboard, we have the charging port headset port, microphone and other elements on the back side. And in the display frame we still have the vibration motor. Well, we move on to disconnecting the connectors on the motherboard. 
we disconnect the coaxial cable connectors, disconnect the interboard cable connector, the same cable for display. We can also detach the rear cameras. Carefully pry up the edge, hold it slightly so that the cameras don't fly out. And we remove the front camera. We also need to unscrew one screw that fixes the motherboard. The screw is also badly magnetized. We use additional tweezers to remove the stuck screw. And we can detach the motherboard. Carefully pry in the right place, lift and remove the motherboard. Please note that we forgot to detach the coaxial cable from the clips fixing it to the motherboard. And we have removed the motherboard and it remains to detach the battery. Traditionally, for Honor we have three brown tabs with the numbers 1, 2 and 3. We need to unfold all the tabs. And the tab that is located in the middle carefully pull out. We gently pull the middle tab up, but the battery is not in a hurry to come off because the adhesive around the edges is still holding the battery in place. We can gently pry up the battery in these areas, no need to use force, no need to apply pressure in these areas with a tool so as not to accidentally damage the battery shell. We slightly leave the battery in these places and try to pull up the tab, which is located in the middle. And we managed to remove the battery. Under the battery we have an adhesive coating that protects the interboard cables. So, this is the end of our assembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Okay guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and until next video.